Four MCs from across the country have earned the opportunity to fly to L.A. and record a mixtape that could change their lives. No bling, just hip-hop at its rawest. This is Dope Tracks, the mixtape. Last time on Dope Tracks, the mixtape. The crew loads in for the morning orientation. They're getting ready for the solo tracks, and Goose lets them know they'll be getting interviewed by the show Rolling It Up with Uli. I drop in to check on the progress with the good friend Super Nat, and the cats are laying it down. It's 5 o'clock and no lunch yet. Where's my fucking chicken at? But these dudes got four tracks done in one day. Plus, they got to freestyle with a legend. What up, Dope Tracks? It's your boy Grip Man. You already know what it is. It's uh, day three, Wednesday. About to do the damn thing. They started on the collabos. These guys hadn't met each other either. It's not like they were great friends and hung out all the time. They had maybe talked back and forth on the computer a bit. No one really knew Murdoch. Day three. Back to the studio. Who's clued him in on who they'd be collaborating with yesterday? First one, Infinite and Donna Dope Man on the Roach Killer beat. Then we got uh, Murdoch and Donna Dope Man on the Watkins beat. Then we got Grip Main and Murdoch on the Cook beat. Then we got Grip Main and Infinite on the Busy beat. And then we're gonna get all four MCs on the Gunna Tracks beat. We all know these cats can rip at their own game, but how well can they play with others? You know, to work with someone is also another thing. Besides being able to, you know, just hang out with someone, being able to work with them is a whole nother ball game. You may not have the same ideas as them. They might think your shit is whack, you know? But, and they were forced into this situation. It's not like, they got to choose who they were collabing with. We assigned that to them based on, you know, our thoughts of who would be good with who. First one was with a Don the Dope Man. Collab, what, what, which one under that day, Murdoch? Don is real spontaneous. Yeah, 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 you'll, see, you'll hear the track, you'll see. But uh, it's a real fun track, man. Don is real funny, he's a cool cat, real laid back. But he's sharp, he's real lyrical and sharp. Yes, he's an easy guy to work with, good lyricist. And I ain't know, I ain't know what to expect him to look like because he never had a picture up or I never had any, you know, contact with Murdoch online, but he stuck. Everyone who hears it knows that it'll be something funny in that track. Kept it moving. It wasn't a hard process. Shout out to Watkins out there. For y'all that don't know, I'm new to um, dope tracks or whatever, so Watkins, shout out to Watkins. They, number one, had to meet each other and then instantly go into a collaboration with this guy. So that was certainly a challenge, too. I got one with Murdoch, and then I got one with Infinite. I think that shit's gonna really complement each other. I mean, the, the flows, I mean, especially me and Murdoch, I think that's gonna be one, one of the other collabs on that shit. And then me and Infinite, you already know Infinite spits fast, and you know me, I do my thing. I like to spit fast, too. Yeah, the collab with Don the Dope Man was, uh... Insane, it was learning, learning for me to do a whole new thing. I went in there with no, no written, you know, just came up with it off the top of my head, and, you know, in sections. It's like freestyling, but it's not quite freestyling, it's weird. I don't think anybody's ready for that shit. I don't, I don't think even anybody knew that Don the Dope Man and Infinite was gonna get together and hit him with something, so. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, excited to hear the uh, reaction to that one, truthfully. Most of these cats got their own workflow, pin, pad, but Don D goes straight from the hip. It's all in his head. Don a dope man. What was interesting about Don is that he was really in there in the studio with me most of the time. His style was very interesting because he likes to overlap. One line will will start and the other line will start right before the that the other one ends. So you get this constant flow of, of words, you know, nonstop. And it creates a very interest, interesting kind of groove rhythm. It's very unique. Yo. We going up, elevate the plug, generate the funk, decorate the drum, vocal instrument, let the spliff hit it in fast with the 40, goose tree shopping, tuna with the boo to choose from three options. Murdoch is also, he's very natural. The guy comes in, does his three tracks, his main, his, his, uh, ad, his backup vocals, and his ad-libs. He just nails it. I mean, it might take him a couple times to warm up, 
once he's in the flow, I mean, it's it's on. <laughs> Murdoch and Dope Man got a laid back beat. It really shows the contrast in their lyrical style. <laughs> They all figured out how to make their styles work with each other. They figured out how to write songs with each other. Yeah, it, everything worked out phenomenally. Get so obnoxious with all this talk of lost toxic thought. A chicken pox doll up in the gift wrap box. The pretty pain don't make a picture any less painful than the day today will say otherwise. Anyway, how many lives it gonna take to get to the middle? Money said I was talking who didn't really end up nothing. Everything crutch well, that's touching on the subject. Many love to the fate. The enemy already up in the front lines and plugging that hate. Yo, that motherfucker hot, infinite. Fuck song number two. Day three, song number two, infinite. You can tell that he's very musical. And he comes from a musical background. We even had conversations about it because his uh, father was a musician. He was very supportive about the music. And you could tell from, from his style, especially from the jam sessions, and that he is very musical and very able to, to challenge himself with really great lines and cool rhythms. And you can bet about another hundred thousand It felt the same way, but Wait then, uh, how should it be dealt with? Hey, here's a swell suggestion From the well of my chest Respect creation like it made you You're blessed, don't stress My man puts like 65,000 words In 116 It's all articulate and dope That was 20 bars Wait, that was more That was 20 bars Was it? No, that, yeah, it actually, no, it was longer it was 22 bars yeah, I thought you could have stopped that. Twenty-two bars is long. Here we go. I can cut it down. It's funny. He laughed right in the middle, but it sounded great. I would keep it. I like it. I don't think there should be a limit on bars, but they know what they're doing, so. Yo, who keeps it banging like we bang? No one, and it's pitiful. Ripping family ties. Salute to the general. I got the antidote to get <laughs> Gritmain, he's he's very interesting because he's he's this, has the same thing like Infinite, where his rhymes are very complex and and you know writes about also certain certain situations. You can tell by his lyrics, he's a Family Guy. He's you know he's concerned about support, uh, he's being able to support his family through his music, and I respect that a lot. Yo, giving it to him, they fell in the tune. I'm chilling with goons, I spit at the moon. I'm living it soon, I give you a clue. Nobody can do what I can do. Walk them all up in my shoes. Going what I do when I'm back in the booth. Smack with truth and I'm back at you. Nothing you can do when I rap at you. Do the damn thing and I'm double the same. But you already know your boy grip me. Hundred times on the front of the page. Smoking on dimes on my bus all day. One of a common, you fuck with the main. Watch what I'm saying, this boy ain't playing. Caving in these beats all day. Spit it with ease, let's lay it on the page. That's, that's where you gonna cut it right there. It was interesting to see because when we first started with him, he was unsure. He's never been in a studio before. I, think, I don't think any of these guys have really been, maybe Murdoch, but I, but I think most of these guys haven't experienced being in a nice studio like this, being in front of a mic, having all these people in the control room. And uh, he's a little bit unsure of himself with that at the beginning, but then as we got more into it, he, was, he knew that he was doing it, nailing it. I like his hooks that he comes up with. And he's got a musical ear, you can tell, even in his hook, it's, it, there's, there's melody expressed in it. Yo, giving it to him, they fill in the tune. I'm chilling with goons, I spit at the moon. I'm living this soon, I give you a clue. Nobody can do what I can do. Walk them all up in my shoes. Going with it when I'm back in the booth. Smack with the truth, I'm back at you. Nothing you can do when I rap at you. Did the damn thing and I'm double insane. But you know your boy remain. Hundred times on the front of the face. Smoking on dimes, my bus all day. One of a kind when you fuck with the main. Watch what I'm saying, this boy ain't playing. Caving in these beats all day. Spit it with ease, I laid on the page. It's been a long time. But I was gonna get right back and get into your mind. Who this bomb that straight, this website is mine. Damn, yeah, fuck it up one more time. Grip Main, another one of the early users. He was like a star on the site from the get go. I mean, a guy like Infinite, you know, people respected him, they loved him, but Grip Main, he like, he was a one of the first DT stars. You know, he, was on, he dominated the front page. The crew is hard at work, but they gotta feed that beast publicity. It's a reality that any artist faces at this level. So Goose brings in a professional photo, Hussein Katz. He's gonna lay in on a little dope tracks photo shoot. They had Hussein Katz coming in to shoot photos of them. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm just hanging out. Another experience none of them had really had, where a professional photographer is telling them 
you know, do this, do that. It's weird, it's awkward. Where you think, oh, I'm just gonna stand here and have someone take a picture of me. It's not exactly like that. Rhyming can only take you so far. This is a part of the game, and folks want to see the mug that spits those lyrics. They need to tell you how to stand, how they want this, and and it's, once again, something that, whether or not you like it, is part of the, the game, you know? This is not a boy band, so these shots need to be right. They spend a little time looking for some good locations. That man knows what he's doing. He picked out all the hot spots. We walked right there. Two minutes, bam. Show me the picture. I mean, y'all see the footage. Let's flash to that. Look at my reaction. Bam! Hussein goes right to work and jams out some solid shots. You know, just like the day before, they wanted to get in the friggin' studio and had something that they kind of felt was holding them back. Not in a bad way. They weren't complaining about any of this stuff in any way. They were perfectly, you know, they had great attitudes about doing everything we asked them. But there was this overwhelming feeling of, why am I taking these friggin' pictures? I just want to be recording. What you got, Kev? Oh, God, these damn okay. <laughs> As the day winds on, they get back to the studio. Since the boys didn't get lunch yesterday, the friendly neighborhood baker dropped off some nice, healthy brownies. <laughs> Gotta keep these cats strong. <laughs> Last words for day three is, uh, where's MG Hosefast cookies? <laughs> He's a good baker, huh? Yeah, that's what I hear. The collabs finish up nicely, but there's still work to be done tomorrow. The dope track's boot camp continues.